joined by uh, Shepard Manager Owen here, Owen. How are things? Yeah, all good, all good. Can't so, complain. So, when you think back to last year when you came into the club, um, how was that, kind of getting that call? And well, I was, uh, I was involved with the club with the Shelburne ladies. I was help coaching out there. Um, I got a call then to say that Kevin had uh, stepped down. Would I be interested? And it was no brainer for me. You know, I support the club. I like the club. I love the club. So it was uh, straight away. The answer was yes. You know, went in and you know I looked at the at the squad. Probably with two experienced players in the squad, so we we knew we were going to be lacking in certain uh, certain qualities and certain aspects of the of the team that we had. Mm. And aside from the experience, was there else you identified in the team that you tend you felt really Yeah, I, I thought. I mean, we looked at it, and uh, myself and Liam Kelly sat down. We said every time we went a goal down, we didn't come back in the game. You know, very rarely came back in the game. I think once we maybe done it, but uh, that showed me that there was a, a lack of, I suppose, you know, not hunger but desire to get back into the game. Know, physically we weren't strong enough, mentally we weren't strong enough, so it's something that we, we had to rectify this year and hope to rectify this year and I think we've done that now with the players that we brought in. Yeah, I mean certainly it was, it was a, an improvement in performances I think from my perspective, uh, the Cove game down the Cove, something changed in the team tonight, it was like a, almost a steal back yeah, in the team. Yeah, I, I think uh, we worked them harder in training, there was a lot of them that, which surprised, surprised me that didn't know much about each other, you know, uh, we sort of had a little bonding session where we went out and they had a few games of pool and things like that and we asked a couple of players the next day what did they find out about other players and it was surprising that one of them turned around and said oh, I didn't know he had a kid or I didn't know this you know and that, that goes through the team like you know if you, if you don't know the person you're playing beside then you tend just to go out and play for yourself rather than dig in deep and help the person beside you and I thought that was evident last year. You mentioned already how important it is that the players understand one another and when you bring so many players in do you feel you're starting again in a way? Yeah, yeah, starting again, but the players that are brought in have played with each other before and know each other. Um, you know, and, and the other side of it is they're not coming here for money. That's the one thing. You know, they're coming here because they either love the club or they want to be involved in a, in a team that wants to go places. Um, and if you look to it, as I said, Dino's been here before. Derry Pendergast is actually a Shells fan. Um, you know, Bocker has been here before. So there is that quality, experienced players, but have been here and they all want to work with each other. And, said that they're here for one thing only and that's to play for the jersey and represent the club. Have you decided do you think in your mind on a on a particular style of play or, or, or Yeah we, we want to play football, you know, we want to play football but there is going to be games where it's going to be difficult to play. So they need to mix it up. You know, has, that's what we're saying about the physical side of it, you know, the fourth division is a tough league and if you don't if you're not ready for it mentally and physically then there's no point turning up. So there is going to be games where we'll have a lot of possession and hopefully we can we can break teams down and then you're going to be coming up against teams like Waterford who have all the money and buying all the, the, the players that we need to be physically ready for them and be able to match them on that side of that and I think, I think we have a team that can do that, a squad that can do that. And if we look ahead to the season, then, what, what's the ultimate aim? And the aim is, well, has to win it, you know, to get promotion you have to win it, there's no, there's no playoffs, there's no, no other way of getting up. Um, my goal hasn't changed from when I come in, my goal is to win the league, the players that are brought in, their goal is to win the league, so that doesn't change, you know, that has to be the, the one and only uh, I suppose goal that we set ourselves and that's the one that we're, we're aiming for. We have a tough start of the season. If you think we've probably the top four teams in the first four games, uh, we've long for Cove, UCD and Waterford. You know, people will be expecting those four to be up the top, but I'm sure they're going to be looking at us and saying they have a difficult start because they're playing us in the first their first games. But it's something we're looking forward to. If we can get some, you know, major points on the board against those four teams, it'll give us a good start and hopefully we can push on from there. And to get promotion against we need to make talk at Fortress or as much of a difficult place to visit as we can. So what's your message to, to the fans listening and watching today? Yeah, I, I think it's, it's important that the fans really get behind this squad of players. Um, you know, as I said, like the players aren't here for anything other than to represent the club and play for that jersey. Um, so it's important that they really row in behind because there's only one team going to get promoted. And every year, you know, Shells have been in the first division for the last nine years or so. So it's important that they come down and support us. I know there's, there's difficult times there that they've having with the club and the board and things like that, but, you know, 10 years down the line, we're all going to be looking still to if our shells to be doing well. So get behind the club. A few of us will move on, you know, in 10 years, 15 years. But it's important the club will never move on, that they'll always be there. So it's important that they really get behind and give it a good push. Like us all, we all give it one push to try to get up. Great, I'm the season just around the corner. As, as a fan, I'm buzzing, can't wait for it to start. Um, best of luck to you and your team. Thank you very looking much. Looking forward to it. Yeah, looking forward to it. So hopefully we can give you something to share about and get that promoting and next year we're talking about Premier Division football. Here's the phone here. Thanks a million. Thanks very much.